Mumbai-based Max Aerospace has partnered with Bell Textron to bid for the Ministry of Defense's 200 Reconnaissance and Surveillance Helicopter Project, proposing local assembly of Bell 407 helicopters in Nagpur under the Make in India initiative. Bangalore-based Indomim has entered into a collaboration with Talis Australia to manufacture precision components for small arms systems in India. India has offered repair refit and midlife upgrade services for Australian Navy warships deployed under its Pacific Maritime Security Program. Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has invited Australian defence firms to collaborate with India on cutting-edge manufacturing innovation and joint R&D projects. India's DRDO and Australia's DSTG have launched a landmark three-year joint research project on Todoray sonar sensors that will revolutionize undersea surveillance by advancing the detection and tracking of submarines and autonomous underwater vehicles. Armoured Vehicles Nigam Limited is set to complete the design and development of its Bharat light tank by the end of this year, and the first prototype is expected to be rolled out by late 2026. The DRDO has issued an expression of interest for the design and development of a hydraulic quadruped robot by Indian industry partners, designed to support a minimum payload of 40 kilograms and around two hours of endurance. The Indian Army is accelerating plans to induct electric vertical takeoff and landing UAVs capable of carrying 500 kilograms payloads to support troops in high altitude regions in the northern sector. European Missile Major MBDA has invited India to join the Future Cruise Anti-Ship Weapon Program, which is now rebranded as Stratus. The Stratus program will field two complementary missiles, a subsonic Stratus Low Observable Deep Strike Cruise Missile with an estimated range of 1,500 km, and the supersonic Stratus Rapid Strike with an estimated range of 800 km, for high-speed anti-ship roles. Following the success of the Pinaka rocket system's public-private model, the Ministry of Defence is now involving private sector firms in producing subsonic cruise missiles and surface-to-air missile systems. This multi-vendor ecosystem will reduce reliance on state-run units and foreign suppliers, which ensures that surge manufacturing can be activated quickly in wartime, avoiding the bottlenecks that would arise from relying on a single production line. The DRDO has launched a new technology development fund project to develop indigenous platinum rhodium catalytic igniters for afterburners of fighter jets including Rafale Su-30 Tejas Mark 1A and Tejas Mark II fighter jets, replacing expensive parts that are imported from foreign countries. The platinum rhodium catalytic igniters help ignite fuel in afterburners, which provide extra thrust for supersonic flight and combat maneuvers. A retired Indian Air Force test pilot has revealed that the Cats Warrior will act as a sensor amplifier for the Tejas Mark 1A. The Cats Warrior will scout ahead of the manned jet, relaying real-time data on threats to rain and enemy positions through secure data links, effectively boosting situational awareness and survivability of the Tejas Mark 1A. The Cats Warrior can operate within a 350 km combat radius for reconnaissance and strike missions. However, it can transform into a one-way strike asset with 800 km range, capable of crashing into high-value targets when recovery is not possible. Today's Top 3 Comments